Hey, Urban Adventures. Welcome to another episode. A lot of you been asking about when I'm going to do another video on ATV. So I think that today is a perfect day to do a more in-depth uh, view of my Yamaha Kodiak 700 Special Edition. So yeah, let's take a quick walk around. And uh, have you, as you can see, I did a couple upgrades to it already. So yeah, this is the video you guys have been waiting for. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get to the video. Alright guys, as you guys already know, this is a 2022 Kodiak 700 EPS SE. So that means it has power steering and it is the special edition. I'm just going to show you some of the upgrades that I did to it. As you can see, I have a 2 inch receiver on. So it's got this little hole right here so I can uh, actually pull my shanty with. And also I have an inch and seven eighths so I can pu actually pull my trailer with if I wanted to. If you go above here, this is the Colpan Stronghold Ice Rod Boot. This is one of the reasons why I decided to get this one because I love how everything fits on there real nice and it's on there really tight. I mean, this, this auto latch is on here tight and it goes right onto the metal rack. All you do is just push the button down. And from here, just pull it back. And then you have access to your rods. And then you can just put your rods right in here. I'm just gonna use this for ice fishing. I got a, and I got a real good deal on this. That's why I picked it up. This is very sturdy. You can put the cold pen rod boot on here for your for your guns, for your rifles, for hunting. And for these, just put it in here, push it in, and it locks in. And it's not gonna go anywhere. It's in there pretty good, so. The only thing that I wish that this case would have is better latches. This is just uh, held by rubber, and I'm afraid that it, once you're driving bumpy roads, I might, it could possibly pop off. So that's the only downfall of this rod rack. Otherwise, it's pretty neat. I kind of wish it can lay, lay down flat. Because as you can see, it kind of takes up one whole side. So it kind of looks weird. It kind of took me a little bit of uh, getting used to, to looking at it like that. But now it's starting to grow on me. Start, it kind of looks kind of cool. So it'll grow on me, I guess. Up front here, I have two two little gun rack things. Also, got picked these up from Amazon. I'm gonna link these down below as well. These are actually really nice. I actually use this for my ice auger, and then for hunting season, I will put a gun on or whatever. As you guys can see, it comes with a factory 2500 one winch. And I put this little rubber cable saver on, which is highly recommended for any winch system. So it keeps it tight and it keeps you from pulling your winch all the way in, which can damage the cable. Eventually, I'm going to be switching it out to synthetic, but for now, this is fine right now. One of my most favorite upgrades is 
the heat demon this is the quad zone the first time I took it out which was in the single digits and my hands are freezing it's very easy to set up very easy to install I'm not gonna do a video on it because there's a there's quite a bit of installation videos out there for the Yamahas and it's very very easy plug and play pretty much they also have a handlebar these little muffs because uh either because I have the heat demon on my hand my palm is nice and warm but then I have the outside of my hand which is still which still gets cold so I got one of these just to protect me from the wind and it's been working out very well it's keeping my hand warm even with gloves on these are real nice insulated and with, with addition to the heated grips it keeps my hand really warm I will be adding a rare cargo rack and I also did order a OEM Yamaha front uh, cargo box that's gonna get, that's gonna sit right on top of here which means I might have to move these so I'm not sure where I'm gonna move them again I'm just waiting for the cargo box to get in and then we we'll go from there future upgrades I'm gonna be upgrading these into the bear claws or the or the bighorn 1.0 the 1.0 is real hard to find right now but you can get the 2.0 pretty easily and I heard a lot of issues with the 2.0s with the sidewall not being tough enough I, don't, I think it'll be fine for my application because I don't plan to mud with it or do any extreme riding with it just gonna be mostly trail riding and also as you can see for ice fishing but it's a toss between those two tires stock suspension I'm gonna keep the same there's uh, no need for lift kits or anything I think it works the same well I did forget I'm gonna get the 26 inch 26 inch tires for the ATV just so it sits a, just a slightly higher these are the 25 inch tires the rears are actually by Max's MU20 and they are 25 by 10 by 12s in the back and the fronts are Maxis as well and these are 25 by 8 by 12 in the front one of the coolest features that I love about these Kodiaks is the iconic round eyes it kind of reminds me of the Toyota Land Cruisers the older ones the FJ40 series into the earlier FJ60 series Toyota Land Cruisers and I always love the round looks of those so that's why that's why I really love the looks of these and plus the Yamaha it's always had these round headlights with a nice beefy aggressive front end look and I love that look so this is one of the coolest reasons why I wanted one of these uh, Yamahas One of the things I love about these Yamahas is this front cargo storage area. A lot of the ATVs come with a gas tank right here, but my gas tank on the Yamaha is actually down here on my right side. So the so there's a cargo area here, area right here that takes place of where the original gas tank is. And I have a GoPro in here. I have a throw bag. This is for ice fishing. If someone's falling through the ice or whatever, I can toss this to them. So I have my manual. I have uh, the winch puller, has some zip ties, and whatever else I can fit in there. And what I heard from reviews is that it can't get hot in here, so I don't plan to put anything that's gonna spoil in here, like snacks, or whatever. I'm gonna actually, that's actually gonna be in the cargo back, the cargo box in the rear. Now, a lot of people ask me how come I got the Yamaha. Kodiak 700 and not any other brand I was actually looking at the Yamaha Kodiaks and also the Honda Foreman and the Honda Rencon I wanted something a little bit more powerful I used to have a Honda Rancher that's uh that was a 329 cc's that was the last year it had the 329 cc 
in the first year for the newer body style so it kind of looks like the Rencon with the early ranchers uh, way back in 2005 and I used to take that hunting all the time and I would pull trailers and everything and it just didn't have enough oomph to to pull people and pull deer and and get on the trail I mean my, my max speed was only like 15 miles an hour but with this one it's got a lot more power and hopefully it'll take me farther farther places it could pull up to 1300 pounds so I mean that's that's a lot of weight for an ATV to pull so yeah this should be able to pull me a couple other people if I need to deers all the gear and everything uh, to get into the woods where I need to go so I'm gonna be doing some hunting this year hopefully and doing more ice fishing so I was looking at the Honda Foreman's and the Honda Rencon I wanted uh, the Rencon because they had the 686 or the 6 they had the bigger motor in there it was a 600 something cc's I don't remember at, uh, off the top of my head right now but the thing uh, right now as well as it's really hard to get any kind of ATVs right now Yamahas, Hondas they're really really hard to get because of the pandemic and they can't get enough parts to build these machines uh, from what one of the salesmen told me so that's why there's a shortage of these ATVs one of the, one of the shops I went to they had a whole bunch of Suzuki's left some Polaris but uh, if, if you want a Yamaha or a Honda it's actually really really hard to get right now and I actually put on order a Kodiak base model Kodiak 700 base model back in the middle of December and so far they have not called me to go do the paperwork which I won't be on need to anymore because uh, I was lucky enough to get this this special edition so this is actually the machine that I actually really wanted but because of the shortage and everything that for me to get one of these it's gonna be really really hard to get because uh, they're only making a few of these special editions and every, everybody wants them so but luckily my brother-in-law found this one online and he texted me real quick and, and everything just happened from there so everything took from the moment he messaged me to like an hour or two hours later this was already mine and uh, the next day when I did paperwork and then the next day after that is when I went to go picked it up I'm gonna link that video right here for you guys to go watch it was a toss-up between the Hondas and the Yamahas I was looking at the Hondas because I used to have a Honda and it's very reliable one of the most reliable machines I ever had I know a lot of people ask me how come I didn't get a Polaris Polaris don't get me wrong they are awesome badass looking machines but from what I've experienced and from what I've seen their quality is unfortunately junk and I, I don't want to have a machine with a chance of it being in the shop all the time and I know Yamaha is really high quality machines and they have a really reliable rep uh, reputation especially with the 686 motor and with a CVT transmission I mean, you can't go wrong with that with the Hondas it's got the drive shaft which I love love over the the CVT but but uh, fortunately they didn't have those available when I was looking and also I couldn't get anything over a 600 cc so besides the Rencon and the Rencon has a big downfall that I did not like it has it didn't have a front locker and I really wanted a ATV with a front locker because if you're going to go four-wheeling, it's good to have a front and rear locker. Though you may just be trail riding, but believe me, a front locker really helps. And I do wish I had lockers on my Tacoma as well. That'd be pretty badass if I had no lockers on there. But, yes, I'm excited for this thing. I'm, uh, I'm ready to take it on some more adventures. Some trail riding for you guys. I'm going to be doing some trail riding and cooking on the trail and camping and, uh, and stuff like that and I can't wait for more adventure with this thing so I'm really happy with my purchase I'm really happy that I that this became available at the right time and I didn't get stuck with a uh, base model Kodiak which I think I would not have been I would have been happy but I would have been fully satisfied 
because I, it wasn't the one that I actually wanted 100%. So, but now I have the one that I want, the special edition, and it comes with a factory installed winch. A lot of people say that these Codex are really underpowered, but then uh, I looked at the reviews and what I noticed is they actually compare a lot to the Polaris 850 and the Can-Am 1000s. I mean, of course, if you compare it to those, I mean, of course, yeah, this is gonna be way underpowered because it's only a 688cc compared to an 850 and a 1000. But if you compare it to another 600 class CC ATV, I think this thing has plenty of power to do what you need it to do. I've seen some uh, some people put some big old tires on and man, they, do they go through some mud. I mean, this thing is pretty amazing, so. But that is the reason why I decided with the Yamaha Kodiak. It was the timing, it became available and it has the front and rear differential lock and it's a good it's a real good 4x4 system reliable motor and transmission on this Yamaha and that is the reason why I decided to get the Yamaha Kodiak 700 EPS SE but anyways I'm gonna get back to the truck and uh, we're actually gonna go fishing so I'm gonna be fishing at a different lake this is just a close lake that I just want to stop by. It's a lot quieter and do uh, some quick videos for you guys. Get an update on my Yamaha ATV and uh, follow along as I do more updates on this thing and do some trail rides and, and go from there. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe this video. And as always, follow your dreams, follow your passion, make it happen guys. Catch you guys later on the next video.